was started as a missing persons investigation for former NFL player Sergio Brown and his elderly mother, turned into a far more disturbing mystery after the woman's body was found near a creek just days after they were reported missing. I'm going to take you to West Suburban Maywood now, where at this hour, the search for former NFL player Sergio Brown continues. Family members say they last heard from Brown and his mother Myrtle back on Thursday. Saturday, Myrtle's body, the mother, was recovered from a creek in suburban Maywood. CBS 2's Darius Johnson spoke to neighbors who knew the two and are now on edge. On Saturday, September 16, 2023, Sergio Brown and his mother Myrtle Simmons Brown were both reported missing after family members reported to authorities that they could not contact the two. A missing persons report was made and officers immediately began searching for the two individuals. I'm not waiting another hour. If you see them or one of them, please let me or the Maywood police officers know. Nick Brown, Sergio's brother, wrote in a frantic Facebook post along with images of his mother and his brother. Myrtle's sister, Sheila Simmons, said that someone called her on Saturday morning and told her that her sister and Sergio were missing. She rushed to Myrtle's home where Sergio also lived and immediately noticed that something was off. She also conducted an initial search of the property herself and did not find Myrtle or her son Sergio. But during a subsequent more extensive search, Police made a grisly discovery. Now a developing story that we have been following. The mother of former NFL defensive back Sergio Brown has been found dead in West Suburban Maywood. And Sergio was last seen on Friday night and is still missing. Kate Chappell has the latest. Maywood police say Saturday family could not find or get in touch with Brown or her 35-year-old son, former NFL player Sergio Brown, and reported them missing. Myrtle Brown was later discovered unresponsive in a creek behind their home. The medical examiner's office determined she'd been injured during an assault. Her death has been ruled a homicide. And since this is a relatively new and fresh investigation, there are some details that aren't being shared with the public. And as of the day of me recording this, law enforcement has yet to identify a suspect in the death of Myrtle Brown. Meanwhile, the search for her son, Sergio Brown, continues. A day after Myrtle Simmons Brown's body was found, Sergio's brother Nick posted on Facebook again. Thank you everyone for all your outreach, help, love, and condolences. It's a sad but hopeful time, and we will all get through this together. Mom always told me tough times don't last, and our last conversation about tough times being temporary is my beacon of hope. Nick then went on to plead for help in finding his missing brother Sergio. My brother Sergio is still missing. If anyone knows where he is, I want him to know that I love you and please come home. Born on May 22, 1988 in Oak Park, Illinois, Sergio Brown rose to prominence as an NFL player. After a college football career at the University of Notre Dame, Sergio entered the 2010 NFL Draft, where he defined the odds by securing a contract with the New England Patriots after initially going undrafted. He played for the New England Patriots for two years and played for four more teams throughout his football career, including the Indianapolis Colts, Atlanta Falcons, Jacksonville Jaguars, and Buffalo Bills before retiring in 2016. Following his retirement from the NFL, Sergio Brown pursued higher education, earning an MBA from the University of Miami in 2017. And following his disappearance and his mother's untimely death, residents in the Browns' neighborhood have come forward with unsettling accounts. While police search for Sergio, neighbors are assisting with a timeline. Cortez tells us he last saw the two Thursday in person, and on his ring doorbell, police saw something else. They seen him taking out the trash, and they seen him had a bonfire where he burnt all her clothes. What was captured on camera is similar to what Cortez says he's learned from family. They said he wasn't himself the past few months. He was out of his uh, out of his mind. He says while police have been called to the home before, he hopes Saturday was the final time he'll see police lights and crime scene tape. I just hope that the family has closure and I'll be praying for them and uh, I hope the family gets through this and I'll, uh, I'll keep them in mind in my prayers. Myrtle, she was an outstanding woman and uh, I, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, she's in the right place and I hope she's uh, you know, she's with God, and uh, like I said, uh, I would have never expected this in a million years. Mr. Cortez also told reporters that he had given authorities ring doorbell footage that allegedly shows Sergio burning his mother's clothes. But the Maywood Police Department declined to comment on these allegations, so as of now, they are just allegations made by Sergio's neighbor, Mr. Cortez. Then on Monday, September 18th, 2023, just a few days after Sergio and his mother Myrtle were initially reported missing, 
Sergio took to Instagram. An update now on the murder of a former NFL player's mother in Maywood. The Maywood police are looking into a video posted to Sergio Brown's Instagram and trying to see if it's authentic. Fake news. It has to be the FBI that came into my house on Bob Marley's death day with the 511 agent gas unwarranted. In the video, Brown says he thought his mom was on vacation and makes accusations against Maywood police and the FBI. The Maywood Police Department issued a statement in response to the video saying, Maywood Police Department detectives are aware of a video that has surfaced on social media in relation to Mr. Sergio Brown, who is still considered a missing person and are also looking into its authenticity. Currently, this is an active investigation and the department is unable to share any further details at this time. We appreciate your patience while our agency continues to investigate the matter. Anyone with information regarding Myrtle Brown's death or Sergio Brown's whereabouts is asked to contact the Maywood Police Department's anonymous tip line at 708-430-1787. And like I said in the beginning, what started as a missing persons report for two individuals turned into something much more mysterious. You have a mother in Myrtle Simmons Brown whose death was ruled a homicide by the coroner's office and her son Sergio Brown whose whereabouts are unknown but he's on social media not on his official social media account on like a burner account making statements that he isn't missing and that the FBI is involved somehow in his mother's passing. I don't really know what to make of all that information and I don't want to theorize right now since it's such a new and ongoing case but it's it's a lot to but there is a lot going on and hopefully there are answers to all the questions that everyone has soon as of recording this the police haven't identified anyone as a suspect but obviously there has to be a suspect because they ruled her death a homicide the family and the police are also still trying to find out where sergio is again he hasn't been identified as a suspect but they are still looking for him because no one has any idea where he is from the video there are some theories that he may be in mexico or a spanish-speaking country but nobody knows anything right now but let me know what you think about this leave a comment down below of what you think is going on in this case or just what you think about the situation as a whole also don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already it not only helps the video and the channel it also helps me and i really appreciate if you have the time the ability to do so i really appreciate you leaving like comment anything it really helps but other than that that is it for me that is it for this video thank you so much for watching and like always 